We have been making insane progress on our budget 125cc drift cart build, or should I say the death cart. This thing has come such a long way in the last 10 days, and we are so close to the first ride. We've got our shifter, we've got our clutch. We don't have any brakes yet, but we'll address that problem a little later. We are nearly ready to strip this thing down, finish all the welds, and give it a lick of paint. But before we do that, we've got a little more fab work to do. I cannot believe we're already in day 10 of the 12 days of Mikemas, where we've been daily vlogging every day all the way up till Christmas and doing giveaways in every single video. Man, we have given away so many things. I should probably stop giving away my stuff. Last episode, I gave away the turbo off our blown 50cc motor, and so many of you guys commented and wanted that turbo. A huge congratulations to Disabled Toad for winning the turbo. I hope you enjoy it. But today, we are giving away something very cool. And that is the steering wheel that I was going to put on our drift cart. The pink bubble steering wheel with the Neo Chrome center. It was going to go on our drift cart, but then I decided to keep it white because I really like it with the pink. So instead, I'm gonna give it away to one of you guys. I'm also including a two-step garage banner and a two-step garage air freshener. You know the drill, comment below and good luck. Now it's time to get to work. Let's go. Stop slacking mate. So we need somewhere to mount our battery. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm working on the ground and not on the table, it's because with the new motor, the car's too heavy for me to lift off the ground onto the table. And no one else is here, so we are stuck on the ground. So for the battery, we also have the loom. And I need to make sure that the loom is going to be able to reach the battery. So I'm thinking we're going to mount this guy right up the front here. I want to chop out these bars, put a bar straight down, and then make a battery tray here and have this guy just sit nice up the front, mostly because I don't see anywhere else on the cart that we're gonna be able to put this thing. There's also a bunch of stuff in this loom. It's quite a big loom because it's actually made for a big buggy and obviously this is a small cart. I wanna hide a bunch of this stuff. So what I'm thinking is I'll make some plates for this area here and we'll actually box all of that stuff in and have the front plate be removable so that we can access this stuff if we ever need to. But first things first, we're gonna make our cuts and mount the battery. Then we can go ahead and see kind of how the loom fits up and go from there. So this guy's gonna go somewhere here. Look at that, perfect fit, mate. So I was thinking maybe we just weld bars in behind here, like so, to reinforce that back to normal. And then I'll make a battery tray that goes under here, so that that's all nice and tidy, then battery secure. And then back here, I'm not actually gonna box it out because I realize some of the stuff needs to be air cooled because it's got heat sinks on it and I don't want to overcook things. And there's a bunch of wires that we need to shorten, like the push start button, the wires are so long, but obviously our chassis is really small. But I think all in all, it's probably gonna work out pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld those bars on, make the battery tray, and then we're nearly ready to strip down this frame. Try. Sick. <laughs> Booyah. Battery tray. So our battery tray is now mounted, and you know what that means? That is the last thing that we had to fab up on the chassis, and we can now strip it down, final weld it, and get it ready for paint. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, that was not my first pick in terms of location for the battery. But truth be told, there is just simply nowhere else that that battery can go. I did think about potentially mounting it around the back here, like down the back, but that would require some extra wiring, and at the moment, with our time crunch to get this thing running and driving by Sunday, I don't think we'd have the time to do that. So for now, the battery is staying at the front. Now we're gonna go ahead and strip the whole cart down to its bare bones. Then I've got the massive job of finishing all the welds on the frame. Then we can lay down some pink, baby. Just like that, she is a bare bones 
frame. Look at what we have created. It looks so freaking cool with nothing in it. Actually, just for reference, here's what the frame looked like just after we finished painting it for the 50cc motor. So as you can see, it is definitely a lot different. We've added a lot more strength into this thing to cope with the 125cc motor. But now your boy has the grueling task of going ahead and just welding this whole thing and finishing it off once and for all. It's hot in here, so uh, wish me luck. Let's get welding. <laughs> I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. That wasn't the most fun in the world, but the end result is definitely worth it because our frame is officially welded together and I am freaking so happy that that's all done. But now it's time for the real transformation. Laying some paint. Unfortunately, I've made a massive rookie error. I thought that I had enough paint here to finish the frame, but unfortunately, we are all out of our gloss lickety lick pink. This is a massive bummer. I am so gutted because I really wanted to have the frame finished, painted for you guys tonight in this video. It is mostly all pink and starting to look the goods, but it needs another couple of coats, it needs to sparkle, it needs to clear. And your boy can't do the sparkle and the clear until the pink is fully covered on the frame. But it's not the end of the world. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna come back here, we're gonna finish off the paint job, then guess what? We get to fully reassemble this thing tomorrow and we're gonna build the exhaust for it. There are no two ways about it. We have to have those jobs done by tomorrow night so that we can ride this thing, drive this thing, ride this thing, on Sunday in the final video of the 12 days of Mikemas. But I'm really sorry guys, I really wanted to have that finished, so that's my fault, it's on me, I'm sorry. And because of that, this is where we're gonna have to end this video. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Again, a massive shout out to all of you guys who have commented on the videos, like the videos, subscribe to the channel. It is absolutely blown up at the moment, and it's all because of you, so thank you so much. Don't forget to comment for your chance to win this steering wheel, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video, where we're absolutely gonna throw this thing back together and it's gonna be a good time thank you guys so much much love peace yeah i ran out of pink that's my fault absolute rookie bye